Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at a huge figure. It's the Combiner Wars Devastator. Now this is the retail version. This is not the San Diego Comic-Con version. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh, it's got the chrome purple on it. Uh, definitely, definitely cool looking figure. This is the one that, well, has been released to the mass market. I did see one of these at the Northside Toys R Us here in Indianapolis, but the box was kind of smashed. And I went back the next day. They wanted $160 for it, $159 plus tax. And uh, it was sold. It was gone like that. And uh, they said the closest Toys R Us that had any was actually in Fort Wayne, Indiana, about two hours away, and they had two of them. So I went to Big Bad Toy Store, and I got this thing shipped for, I think, around $152. So it was actually cheaper to go through Big Bad Toy Store and have it delivered to me in the box is perfect. Um, so that's pretty cool. Front of the package, uh, we've got this awesome artwork of Devastator here. Comes with all six Constructicons. Really reminds me of the old gift set back in the day, which is really cool. Some little Transformers running around at the bottom. It says Transformers here, Generations. Comes with a collector card of Devastator, I think. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really nice artwork. I'm really digging it. Not really sure who that is. That kind of looks like Ironhide. Um, and that kind of looks like um, Shockwave, actually. And then we got a car flipping around back here and a missile coming in. Uh, kind of interesting, just kind of a quick close up. Uh, tell me that doesn't look like Shockwave. Pretty cool, and that looks like Ironhide to me. If you know any different, tell me. I'm not sure who that is. If you know who that is, let me know. Uh, side of the package just basically has uh, Devastator there, and this side has nothing. Um, the top of the box has all of the Constructicons looking super cool. And then here is the top of the package. It's huge. Um, in fact, it doesn't even cover, I think, <laughs> about right here. It's cutting just the head off. Um, it says it's 18 inches and 45 centimeters. This is actual height. Um, it's got all the Constructicons here, which is really cool. And then here's a little write-up um, just to kind of show you the top of the box. There is the write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you can. And then over here, here are all of the Constructicons. Looking super cool. I am digging this for sure. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bone Crusher, and this thing is awesome. This was actually the only Constructicon I had as a kid, so he's always been my favorite. I think he looks the coolest. Um, he is a green bulldozer, which he is supposed to be. Uh, very cool. This thing is pretty massive. I can't wait to do some size comparisons on this. His accessory is this missile launcher thing that turns into Devastator's hand. Uh, that is his gun accessory, which is really kind of weird. The funny thing is... Um, you hold it down, he's got this tiny little uh, piece that he holds it like this with. You would think there would be a place to mount it on the vehicle, but I don't see any, which is very, very strange. Um, so just kind of throw that out the way for a minute. Looking at the figure, oh, the detail is immaculate. I love this thing. I love the treads. Um, we got this nice kind of silver paint picks here. We've got this purple cockpit or windows up here and uh, the top of the cab looking really cool. Looks like he's got the little um, smokestacks right here. All this detailing inside the wheels. Um, we get this really nice purple Decepticon logo up front. More silver paint picks, the headlights up at the top. Uh, everything just looks really nice. It's kind of blank back there because that's going to become part of the arm. Uh, but definitely cool. Not much going on at the bottom, which is really, really cool. The uh, loader does lift up, which is nice. I do like that. You can drop it down. Uh, it rolls really, really well. Um, I'm appreciative of that. It's got... Uh, Little wheels here, little wheels there. Um, yeah, definitely really, really cool. So let's go ahead and compare the size of this thing. Here's Bone Crusher next to the Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee. 
Ah, no, not really. It's the Transformers Q Sunstreaker, I think, actually. Uh, yeah, it looks very, very tiny because it is tiny. Here we have Bone Crusher next to Dead End, and I, I like this size comparison, actually. This looks pretty in scale. I'm definitely digging it. These things are a lot bigger than uh, a, a car. In, in fact, it might be a little too small, um, really. I think Bone Crusher may, may be bigger. I don't know. I've seen some kind of small bulldozer, so I don't know. But it's definitely bigger than this Stunticon, and that's what matters. Here's Bone Crusher next to the real Age of Extinction Bumblebee, and it is definitely a lot bigger. It's not a bad scale for being a big old construction truck. Here he is next to a Generations figure. This is Nightbeat. Here's Bone Crusher next to an R.I.D. 2015 figure. A uh, strong arm, and surprisingly, he's not much bigger. This is a pretty large deluxe figure. And finally, here he is next to the Takara Tomy Transformers Prime. Voyager class, you're the Snake Optimus Prime, and I, I, I think they're about in scale. They look pretty decent. I'm not sure. I haven't seen a semi-truck next to a bulldozer in a while, but uh, I, I don't mind the size. And here we have Bone Crusher in his robot mode, and wow, I gotta say, that's a lot of green. Uh, this guy is really super cool. I am digging him. There are a few minor uh, gripes I have about the figure, but they are very, very minor. Um, to talk about the figure first, the head sculpt. Oh, that head sculpt. I mean, it is G1 accurate all the way. I mean, this guy is beautiful. Um, it is on a rotating ball, and it does have some... Uh, head pivot, not much, but it does have some. Uh, really, really cool. Definitely think they did a good job with it. Um, I always thought that Bone Crusher and Scavenger had the uh, two best heads of all the Constructicons. Um, really digging this chest piece here. Uh, the red and the silver, purple, the Decepticon logo, the silver on the arms, purple on the hands, and pretty much everything else is just green, which I kind of wish this was broken up a bit, but that's the way he was in the original G1 show. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it is either you please 100% accuracy to G1 or you piss people off and you piss people off because they didn't update it. You can't win for losing. Um, but yeah, overall, I do like it. His feet are kind of eh, they're kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, I would say from here up, I'm in love with the figure. From there down, it is what it is. Um, Overall, like I said, this thing looks really good. I love the chest piece, everything. I will say, so one of my gripes is this piece here, um, his little crotch piece that goes together. It doesn't, I mean, it clamps together, but it doesn't snap together. And I feel like um, the little ball joints in that piece over time would wear out and it would get loose from play. Um, but that's really about the only gripe I've got with it, other than the fact that the legs are all green. Uh, the feet just look kind of funky, but they work. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. Again, his weapon, you're just going to pull that down there, and he's got this giant missile launching thing. Let's see if we can get him to hold it. I don't even know if he can balance it. This thing is huge. Can he balance it? Okay, he can. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Uh, like a champ, no problem. That is definitely one hell of a gun, so I will give it that. It's kind of weird, but I guess it works. Um, I would have preferred if they all came with their own little guns. I think the Takara version is actually going to do that, which will be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. For size comparison, here's Bone Crusher with a Takara Tomy Transformers Adventure figure, Nemesis Prime. Here's Bone Crusher next to a Takara Legends figure, RC. Here we've got Bone Crusher with another Generations figure, his little construction buddy, Hoist. Here we have Bone Crusher with the masterpiece Takara Tiger Track, and I think this scales pretty well. This seems like the right scale for masterpiece. And here we have Bone Crusher with his leader, Mighty Megatron, the Combiner Wars Megatron with the DX9 upgrade kit, and I think they scale pretty well to the old cartoon show. Megatron was always about shoulder above the Constructicons, so this works really well for me. 
And finally, here he is with the Masterpiece Optimus Prime here, the horse figure. And, I mean, he stands really, really well to the Masterpiece scale. I really do like that. Uh, this could very easily go into my Masterpiece collection. I feel like that this is the closest thing we're going to get to a Masterpiece Devastator, at least for many, many years. And I'm okay with that. So final thoughts on Bone Crusher. I definitely like this figure. If you are a Combiner Wars fan, you're gonna like the Constructicons, I think. Uh, this guy unto itself, I mean, you really can't have just one Constructicon. That's why they sold them in the set. Uh, but individually, I do like the guy. I think his legs are a little bland, but that's the design of the character from the old show, which I'm really glad they paid homage to that G1 aesthetic. Uh, the head sculpt is perfect. Uh, I love the chest. The arms look really good. Um, my only qualms really are about the hip structure. I wonder how that's going to last over time. But he's going to be in Devastator mode on my shelf anyway, so that doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but it's definitely something I think any G1 fan would like. I think any of the new Combiner Wars fans of the younger generation will definitely dig this. It's constructed well. It transforms uh, relatively easy and uh, definitely satisfactory uh, and it's just overall cool. So there is Bone Crusher from the new Combiner Wars Devastator. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos. I do appreciate it. What do you think about the new Devastator and the Constructicons? I'd love to hear your comments down below. Do you have the retail version? Are you going to get the Takara one? Have you gotten the um, San Diego Comic-Con one? I'd love to hear your comments down below. And as always, look for more videos in the future.